Hi there guys, it's Pete here from Ashton's Cars. You join me on a very wet and miserable day, but hopefully we're gonna brighten it up a little bit with this Subaru Impreza. It's the uh, WRX S model and it's been modified. WRXs were, um, the S, WRX S was brought out, I think 2010. It was uh, basically a WRX with a few STI bits thrown on and uprated power had a bit of engineering in it from ProDrive, the, uh, the Subaru people who uh, are very familiar with performance versions of these cars. It's a proper UK car, it's not an import. Um, this one's got a few exciting extras on it and it's actually been dyno tested at 326 horsepower. So I'm going to pull it out quickly for you and hopefully we can, uh, we can have a look at it and see what it's all about. So here it is and hopefully from that video you can get an idea of how it sounds it's absolutely beautiful sounds like a rally car it's got these big quad exhausts on the back and most importantly it has also had a custom remap done on it um, by pole position 326 horsepower it was pumping out uh, i think uh, close to 400 pound foot of torque as well on the rolling road we've actually got the dyno for it the chap who actually did the dyno test said that um, it was actually possibly able to produce a little bit more you only went up to 5000 rpm with it and at 5000 rpm this thing produces 326 horsepower so possibly a little bit more if you really want to push it um it sounds incredible and it's also got a uh, custom dump valve on it a collins dump valve uprated radiator which i'll show you in a second so it's had a load of extra little bits done on it which really do make this car stand out among other Subarus that we've seen. It looks to all intents and purposes like an STI. This It's got the larger rear spoiler, obviously the 18 inch um, gold wheels with the Pro Drive centers on them. And you've also got a um, STI style front lip, just making it a little bit lower at the front as well than the standard WRX. Now this one's been further enhanced and lowered again by the previous owner. So it really has got quite a menacing stance this car has when you look at it. Uh, you do need to be a little bit careful um, of very steep curbs, but uh, apart from that, it's, uh, it is quite practical still and fairly comfortable. And the great thing about this model of Subaru was it's a lot more civilized than previous generations. So even a, a modified monster like this has got such luxuries as climate control, air conditioning, and even cruise control on it. So here's something we didn't have on early generations of Impreza. So this bonnet goes up on gas struts. So that's really uh, quite novel, having had the earlier generations myself. Um, so this is the uprated rad on the car. It's a Mishimo, Mishimoto sorry, uh, rad that's been put on it. It's also got the uprated dump valve and intercooler on it. As you can see, all very, very clean. It's got the uh, uprated hoses. It's very well sorted under here and you know, it sounds absolutely beautiful. My, my poor little phone doesn't really do the sound of this car justice. Driving it down to the, the yard yesterday, uh, it was popping along on the overrun with the, uh, the exhaust there. Um, really does sound quite a menacing thing when it's, when it's on the go. Let's just look inside. So these are the standard uh, WRX S seats. They were uh, an uprated item, though they are a little bit nicer than you get in the standard WRX. Obviously, you've got the S there on them to show what they are from. And let me jump in. Very, very clean and I would say uncluttered dash, but then you do have these huge cages here poking at you on the, uh, on the B pillar there. But let's just start this up. Obviously, I've got a cold engine at the moment, so I'm not going to give it the beans um, to have it. You'll have to uh, 
take my word for that. If you if you are very serious, give me a call and I will happily send you a video of the car um, warmed up and uh, and sort of revving a little bit higher. But I want to just treat it with a little bit of respect at the moment. Um, what you will have on here that you might not be able to see very clearly, but let me just try and zoom in. We've got a, a bar and we've got the uh, for the that's for the turbo boost, and then we've got the oil temperature gauge on on the uh, on the top there. Obviously a normal standard uh, dashboard there for the WRX. And uh, then we've got a Kenwood Music Center, which has been put in the car. It's also got a subwoofer in the boot. This is a quite a, quite a good um, stereo sound demo mode at the moment, as you can see. But as it's saying on the screen, you can have it running your Android system um, and it can do all sorts of, uh, of amazing stuff with Bluetooth and streaming and everything else that you can do with these modern stereos. Sounds beautiful, this car's got a nice gruff sound which you expect on an STI, uh, or WRX in this case, Impreza. You have got the Subaru plaque there from the WRC, I believe they were only fitted on the WRX S models. Um, it is a five-speed manual gearbox which did surprise me somewhat. Um, I would have expected it to be six speed with this level of performance, but it just doesn't need it. Um, and it is quite relaxed in fifth gear, it will cruise the 70 um, quite comfortably on the motorway. Um, I'll jump outside the car, but I'll leave it running quickly so you can have a, you can continue hearing that, hopefully that beautiful sound of it. Um, just to say, typical Japanese car, everything in your works as it should. We've got things like retractable mirrors and stuff like that, which are all very well and good. Probably though not the reason that you're interested in this car. So I'll jump back outside and show you a bit more of the, the sound and the looks. the back again those quad exhausts are something you do see on STI models but normally the WRX even the WRX S has only got a single outlet exhaust so this has been operated by the previous owner don't they look fantastic I, I believe you know it really does look the beans this car does I, I really do like the look tint's been done to a very high standard on it as well. You have got quite a heavy tint to the back three quarters. It is completely legal though because it's standard tint at the front. So you won't have any issues with uh, with being pulled for that. The wheels are in excellent condition. They are the originals. Standard uh, WRX is a 17 inch but you get the Pro Drive rims uh, 18 inches here on the WRX S version. As you can see, I'll go around all four of them. They are pretty much immaculate. The car has benefited from timing chain, timing belt change when it was due, along with a fairly recent new clutch on it as well. So it's all been sorted and done properly. Also, when it did have the uh, the custom remap, there was a launch control fitted to the car as well. So it has got launch control. I haven't tested it, but I have got all the paperwork and all the instructions on how to use it. All in all, though, what a beautiful machine. One of the reasons that I always love these cars is they are actually strangely quite practical. It's four wheel drive, so it works anyway. It's got heated elements here on the windscreen. So you've got heated uh, front wipers on the car. You've got plenty of space inside. It's quite a welcoming interior really, and quite comfortable to sit in. Those bucket seats are a lot more comfortable than they might look. Look at that, plenty of room in the back. It's easily as big as a Ford Focus, this car. It's even got cup holders built into the door bins. It's quite a practical car all in all. Now it has also got a reasonably good boot, but this one's been filled with some new brake discs, which we're gonna get fitted to the car because it's been stood by the previous owner for a little while because it wasn't being used. And the, uh, the huge subwoofer, which is included in the sale of this car, um, but can easily be removed if you wish us to but it does go very, very well with that Kenwood stereo and it's got a beautiful sound, the stereo system has. 
not that I was using it much because, well, the sound of the engine and the exhaust on this car is much more exciting to me than any stereo system. Anyway guys, if this is of interest to you, please give me a call. My number is 07932 873 646 and our Subaru Impreza is available for delivery anywhere in the UK and we're also happy to take your old car in part exchange. So give us a call, we'll give you a quote. And please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel and click on notifications so you can be updated of further uh, cars that we have available, more car buying advice from us. I do urge anyone looking at this car to please get a quote for your insurance before you inquire. Obviously it is a modified vehicle, there are specialist insurers though who can give you a reasonable price on cars like this, but be aware of what you're buying. But thanks ever so much for watching, thanks uh, again, my number one more time, if you have any inquiries is 07932 873 646. Have a great day wherever you are and goodbye for now.